The number seven, a lot it can happen in the next seven days when we're looking at Bible prophecy being fulfilled today. January the 13th, 2017, Friday the 13th. Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, my wonderful, my precious brothers and sisters. I'm going to talk about a few things this morning. That's uh, Bible prophecy is being fulfilled right before our very eyes. But first, um, I'm going to have a little bit of my coffee. No sugar. I got some stevia in here. And I want to talk about this ketogenic diet that I have been on. Hang on, hang on, hold the phone, hold on. Come out of the kitchen, sit down, sit down. Put put the dishes away and sit down. Now I've lost 10 pounds in just a little over a week, or, or in exactly a week, 10 pounds, and I feel like I have a lot more energy, and I'm feeling a, a lot better today. We're gonna talk about that, but let me have uh, my coffee, please. Can I, Pastor Dave, please have his coffee? Please, please. And let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave. Do that now. Before I get you on the edge of your seat, we're talking about Bible prophecy and what's happening right now. I just want to talk about this diet. I have been under the weather. I have been, my stomach has been cramping and tossing and turning and, and a fever. And my wife, she uh, made a very, very... Uh, important point she said you know your body is going through this ketogenic diet going through what's called ketosis so it's actually like withdraws from the no sugar no breads of any kind and I love bread no pasta so there's changes taken in your you're taking place in your body and it's called the ketogenic flu so maybe that's what's been happening because of the changes in my diet but I do, I feel a lot better today. So thank you, Christy. I think maybe uh, that may be exactly what has been wrong with Pastor Dave and the 10 pounds. I'm very excited, I'm very excited. Now, seven days left. A lot can happen and it will. I'm just waiting. Talk about being on the edge of your seat. I'm on the edge of my seat waiting to see what will the next seven days bring when we're talking about end time Bible prophecy. Has Israel made a stance to try to detour and to stop what's about to take place Sunday on the 15th in France? The 70 nations coming against Israel to divide the land of Israel. Israel has done massive, massive airstrikes. This is not being reported on mainstream, mainstream media news. They have attacked with, with air power uh, Damascus, the, the new Damascus airport where the uh, uh, Syrian uh, Royal Guard uh, allegedly are. They have bombed the airport in Syria, Damascus. And uh, we're not getting a lot of information about any type of casualties, but people, eyewitnesses, are saying that they loud explosions and massive, massive fires. Is prophecy, are we jumping the gun, or is prophecy being fulfilled? I want to take you first. Wow, a lot can happen in just seven days. I want to take you first to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 17, the burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. Are we seeing prophecy fulfilled before our very eyes? And now I want to take you to Jeremiah 49, verses 23 and 24. Concerning Damascus, Hamath is confounded and Arpad, for they have heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. Damascus is waxed feeble and turneth herself to flee, and fear hath seized on her. Anguish and the sorrows have taken her as a woman in travail. Jeremiah 49, verses 23 and 24. The King James Version Bible. Our weather is changing. Uh, next week, 
we're going to be in the upper 50s, 60 degrees. Inauguration day in Washington, uh, they're forecasting temperatures in the 60s. We've got a seven-day window. There's that number seven again. A seven-day window. A lot can and a lot will happen on the world stage. Bible prophecy. Maybe it's a seven-day window for us to fly. For us to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air and to go home. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I want to thank all that attended our live uh, stream last night. I got a lot off of my mind and a lot off of my chest. And I thank all of you for your prayers for my wife. Christy, please keep the prayers coming in until we get an answer. The devil is still on the attack. I mean, this is what happens when God pours out the blessings. The devil just is, is gets infuriated. He's on the attack uh, again. Still, it's been a while now. No uh, offerings to acknowledge uh, with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. This is a crisis time. There is so much pain and suffering on the streets of the inner cities. If the Holy Spirit just falls falls upon you and you'll know you'll know and whatever amount the Holy Spirit uh, convicts you to give please give and have a heart of compassion I'll put the link to our ministry and outreach below I'm heading to the city of Flint I'll be in Flint and Pontiac today and uh, Detroit Michigan this weekend link to our ministry below I love you guys